Hi, uh, good morning. Um, I'm just going to show you a test that I've been doing with some nickel battery strip. Now, I've um, been putting together battery packs with the 18650 lithium ion cells, and I wanted to get uh, the pure nickel strip, which is 100% pure and it's not a uh, steel core with a, a nickel plate. And I've got a couple of examples here, and uh, they were both bought as pure nickel, but um, one of them I've discovered is actually just steel with a nickel plate, and this other one here, which I just received yesterday, it seems to be the real deal. Um, I'm going to do this all in one take, so apologies if it's a little bit rambling or a little bit slow. Um, I'm going to be using uh, a speeded up version of the test. I know you can put um, this stuff into salty water and leave it overnight but this really speeds things up and I should be able to even show you on the video how things um, go so what I'm going to use is an um, empty plastic beaker, there's nothing in it, it's dry and clean um, I've got some salt some hydrogen peroxide which you should be able to get from your chemist really easily, it's just a, a few dollars and again some very very basic vinegar Okay. I'm just going to pop the camera down. I'm going to take a small amount of salt, just put it into each beaker. And hydrogen peroxide, just a teaspoon or so, a little bit more. Not very accurate here, it doesn't seem to make much difference. Vinegar. Let's give those both a bit of a swizzle around. I'm going to take um, this first, which is pure nickel. Doesn't want to come out of the bag at all. section of that. What I'll do is I'm just going to roughen the surface on one side just to, if it was plated material, just to remove that. Also make some really deep scratches. And I'm going to drop that into that solution quickly across to the second sample which is as I've tested it earlier uh, steel with a nickel plate again doing pretty much the same action very quickly scratching the surface in one location that in the other beaker. Give that a bit of a swirl around. And immediately I'll bring the camera closer now. You might not be able to see, but um, there are very small bubbles coming up off the uh, sample. But you can very clearly see that where I've scratched it, um, there is corrosion happening very, very quickly. Let's have a look at the other sample. Yeah, it's a wee bit cloudy as the material, but um, there's just absolutely no, no no corrosion happening in uh, the speaker at all. So clearly corrosion, clearly nothing.
Now, just to give you, and this is something I did um, earlier, obviously. Um, this is a sample that I actually left in the uh, solution for about an hour. And you can see it's actually, uh, I'm going to focus right here, but uh, it's actually perforated all the way through the material. So, definitely steel. So, this stuff, which um, unfortunately bought as pure, was from these suppliers. So, you need to either avoid them or realize that indeed it is only uh, steel with an equal strip. And this one here, which is the real deal from Bring Good Things to Life. Um, anyway, hope you find the video instructive. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.